What's up guys, it's Arib Suez here. I would want to have a quick conversation about Wolf Speed. A lot of people have been looking at it and asking me what I think, including some of my institutional friends. Uh, so there's a few things I think we can talk about. And I'm only going to speak about the areas I know. As we can see here, uh, they have different applications in uh, renewable energy and EVs and so forth. Uh, but what all the rage is really about is, is a few things, I think. You look at the chart, uh, they are on multi-year lows. So it is kind of attractive. Uh, but I just want to clarify a few things I've seen a lot a lot of uh, comments that seem to misunderstand the essence of the play here for AI. And some people seem to be implying that uh, the silicon carbide they use in their power supplies might be used uh, in GPUs and CPUs. Uh, I don't see an application for that yet. And in fact, that's actually not what they're doing uh, at all. What they do is data center power supplies and they do seem extremely efficient. They do this well. You can see uh, all kinds of reviews saying that they have helped reduce the size of power supplies in data centers and other applications. They are extremely efficient. Uh, keeping that in mind, we already have power efficiency into the 90% range, even about uh, silicon carbide. So what I'm getting at is that uh, by using these power supplies, you're not gonna have like a significant reduction in power usage uh, for GPUs, right? That we use for AI, for the NVIDIA Tesla GPUs, they, uh, whatever one we're talking about here, but you know, they typically use between, you know, maybe two, three, 400 watts, depending which models here. And the point is, you know, you're not gonna go 50%, 40%, even 25% less. So it's not based on the power supply. So that's, I think, a misunderstanding. So what I'm getting at here, as interesting as I think the play is, uh, you can buy it and maybe do well. I, I don't know where it's gonna go next for sure, but like, it looks like it's bottomed out. I think that the last time editing here, my final edit, I think it's like in the 560 range. Uh, so it keeps dropping and I think it might be an interesting buy but I'm just saying don't buy it if you think though that their silicon carbide based power supplies are going to revolutionize power consumption it, it's not a significant difference and the difference has to come from the design of the CPU and GPU to really have a computing and uh, GPU reduction in artificial intelligence so I hope that's a bit clear guys I do think it's a very intriguing play like I said but I just want to clear this up because I, I keep having people ask me I read this going to you know 50% uh, less and energy consumption on GPUs, but it's just not the case, unfortunately, guys. As interesting as I think the company is, they have a lot of great applications, like I said. There's areas which I'm not an expert in, like such as renewable energy that they play in. So I think it is a great play in a lot of ways. Um, but I'm just a bit concerned that the bullishness comes from a misunderstanding uh, that uh, they're going to reduce power significantly uh, on the AI or GPU side of it. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts? Okay, thanks for, uh, for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.